cold out there today. So today I am working on the finishing touches for these two. They might not look like it, but they are speakers. So if I flip one on the side, you can see where the speaker hole is. So I've just been finishing up, putting in insulation, audio damping, which in the top of these pipes, they start at the top of the speaker and they run all the way through this uh, end here. And I've also added some foam there just to minimize any reflection of audio inside the box directly behind the speaker. And then anyone who's not familiar with these speaker types, they are called Voigt pipes or Voigt tubes. I'll show you an inside view. It's upside down, hopefully that's focused at the end. But basically there's this massive port that is curved. So um, showing you the outside. So this is just hollow, nothing in there. I was thinking of maybe adding some expanding foam in there just to fill it up, maybe add some weight, I don't know. But this has got a baseboard which has yet to be fixed on, which is somewhere, I don't know what I've done with them. I've started making them and finishing them up as well. These adapter rings have been stuck on here of silicon are probably just temporary for now because the speakers we've chosen are just some JVC coaxial car speakers that says they're 300 watt capable, 30 watts RMS. Yeah, I don't know how much I believe that. They don't sound great, to be honest, which is surprising because they're supposed to be the one model up from the same speaker, but one model down, they actually sound better, if that makes sense. So uh, these holes are cut slightly larger for a larger speaker, but we just haven't bought them yet. Although the last time I checked they weren't in stock, so uh, yeah, I've just made up these adapter plates, just 3D printed in three parts, stuck on there, just to be able to put the smaller speakers in there. But eventually this is going to have a, not a coaxial speaker, a regular uh, mid-range driver and then a tweeter just above it. The insulation there is not stuck to the face of it, so I will be able to get the speaker in and the cable through at least. Um, so normally Void 5 speakers would have a coaxial speaker so that you just have the single driver that handles full range essentially but from my experience with these coaxial speakers and from a few things that other people have said adding a tweeter does add to the clarity of the speakers. Um, that's enough waffling from me, uh, I just need to get the extension lead and some tools ready and then I'm going to start on smoothing down or at least flattening some of the corners on this so with this background uh, you can see there's a lick there um, which I get rid of this slip's not so bad but it's just where the ridges didn't quite line up so all these holes here that are filled they initially there were screws in there just to hold it all together and then it was um, bothered with PVA and then once that was set the screws were removed these holes were filled in. Okay well as you can see I've already made a little bit of a mess. I didn't set up a, ca I didn't set up a camera yet because I was just doing some test runs on this. One side managed to get it flattened off, other side got near the end and then the gouge because the ball bearing on the end of that bit decided to explode and in between the sawdust on the floor there are some ball bearings. Oh, did, did you see one of this in? There we go. So there's, oh, there's one of them and there was about there was eight or nine total in that little seal bearing. Yeah, it just popped. That's the end of that escapade. Um, I'm just going to get the chamfer bit, or well, the rounded edge bit on here now and see if that fares any better. So, which is a shame because out of the eight corners total to flatten off, I've only managed one, um, well, nearly two, one and one fuck up. So, yeah, not ideal, but. It is what it is. Okay, problem number two. Well, first problem is kind of solved. Okay, it's always pretty 
control there. So, so it transpires the bearings on the end of the router bits are at least replaceable and there are some spares so I'll do that at some point. If I'm going to have a couple of shots of rounding off any corners I'll do the front first. The only thing is while I've got these adapter plates in for the smaller speakers this won't be able to go cleanly to the edge it's basically going to go around that there and yeah, mess it up. But I don't want to take those adapter plates off just yet um, because those are the only speakers we have to test them with for now. Um, so I'm going to accept my fate as far as the router goes and just leave these dirty edges as they are. Um, what I am going to do is solder up the cables for the cable inserts to go in the back. So these, these are not quite deep enough to go free from the inside so now I'm just going to be surface mounted on the back of the speakers. Okay so that's how those two will be sitting there. Yeah I know it doesn't look brilliant with them protruding out the back but I don't have anything bigger planned. Realistically, we should have some proper gold plated push terminals or screw terminals. These will have to do for now. You know, fairness, the speakers, those speakers don't handle much power anyway, so no point having massive connectors. So the sun was out two seconds ago, and now it's a blizzard outside. Let's hope I don't get snowed in. There's me parked over there. Um, no idea how a Civic handles in snow. Okay, so I've decided to do away with these spade terminals. These are getting screwed in as they are. The cables are soldered onto the back of these. I've just realized I thought both of these are the same size, but as you can see on there, one of these terminals are skinnier than the other. So I had the wrong spade terminal on for the negative connection anyway. Is that a negative connection? Yeah, with enough base that would rattle itself loose anyway um, so I'm just going to solder it onto the speakers doesn't really bother me solder can be removed so it is what it is it just means there's a better electrical contact hopefully it makes up for the shit contact that these um, cheap terminals offer let's uh, set this up here again <laughs> 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 
let's um, get these back over. Fishing, we've got some cables, more fishing, we've got cables. The sun's back out again. Crazy day. Oh, so now I just got to strip these wires, tin them again. So I've survived. That's one of them done, I just got to get screwed back in there. Um, oops. Lift up. Go there. That's one over here. And do sticker number two. That's speaker number two. Okay, so I've just got to screw these back together, back into the boxes, and then we'll rig them up to an amp and see how they sound. Okay, so maybe I was slightly wrong about the coaxial speakers in thinking they can't hit higher frequency notes and music more accurately. They seem to sound a lot better now that I've added in the um, final bit of padding behind the speaker, obviously. So now the sound dampening comes up to this level here, and then at the back there is also a uh, extra piece of foam to stop any reflection happening directly behind the speaker or at least to reduce reflection as much as possible. What I am finding now with this amp, um, when it, not even at full volume, it, these speakers can't handle bass at all. The range of movement in the cone or the coil at least is so small. It, it can produce certain bass tones, not too bad. Uh, not too badly even, um, but as soon as you start turning up, give it a bit more power, you can hear it clipping immediately. And there are certain bass frequencies which it, it doesn't even hit at all. There was a couple of songs I tested, obviously I'm not going to put the songs in the video because I'll get another copyright strike or claim or whatever. But a couple of the songs I tested, uh, you could only vaguely make out that there was some sort of a bass line there, but you couldn't hear the bass line with clarity it was definitely not very well defined bigger drivers are definitely needed for the size of these uh, void pipes if we can find bigger coaxial speakers then brilliant if not we'll just put a bigger cone in here and a separate tweeter in the top on both of them maybe even slightly higher up we'll see depends what we can work out it's just the only reason i say to have it higher up is because obviously if these are on the floor um even though it's seated position the listening level is sort of here 
so these would fall basically in line with your knees with your crotch basically so yeah I think a, a tweeter higher up would uh, do it a bit, a bit more just, justice but definitely since adding the extra bit of foam in the, the extra walling it's, it's definitely improved your bullet quality I've not tried it on the smaller amp again yet because seeing how much power it does actually need and how much power that big amp can give there's no point even rigging up a smaller one because it's, it's not going to perform at all yeah and I was having to drive this amp fairly hard to actually get these speakers to clip uh, so yeah I don't think this, the, the small amp would probably induce more noise before actually getting anything through, through to the speakers obviously I'm not going to leave them there on the desk they forget to get the clips or the stands to go on there at some point so I might sort that out um, and leave them to set and glue for the next few days and that's it for today's speaker shenanigans I think uh, as you can see I still haven't actually tidied up as much as I should have done but yeah I was just too excited to listen to these speakers see what they sound like um, and yeah considering those speakers themselves the, the JVC coaxial speakers they cost something like £25 for the pair it's not bad obviously the majority of the effort has gone into building these um, void pipes which did take a couple of weeks well I say a couple of weeks is probably like three days on and off mostly waiting for PVA to set because obviously that takes a good 24 hours to set hard but other, other than that yeah fairly happy with them at some point we'll have to get a sander on them smooth them out paint them do something with them or just at least varnish them or something just so they don't look like they've been pulled out of uh, I mean the fact that I put this on back to front see obviously the colours don't match that didn't even click when I first put it together 